Hi guys, uh, welcome back to another Sonic Academy Tech Tip. In this one we're going to be doing the Advanced Reverb uh, Reverse Trick, but this time inside of QBS5 as opposed to of Ableton. And you can do this inside of uh, any version of QBS really, and you can apply it um, throughout other programs, but I thought I'd just show you it in QBS, just in case you're getting a bit lost trying to translate it from the Ableton tutorial. Okay, so we've got the uh, vocal track here. Man, watch out, the table's turned. Get too close and you'll get burned. And what we're going to do is reverse um, a vocal into the first word here. Man, watch. So the, the part that says men and then the part that says get, get there, um, get at bar 30 there. So we want to take our scissors tool um, on the keyboard, you hit three to get that as a shortcut. And I'm just going to cut across the first word there. And I'm going to cut across at get as well. And then I'm just going to hold down Alt and drag this down to a track below it. Same goes for this one. And then if we highlight across both of them, right click, go down to process, and then reverse. And then if we just click on new version, so we'll get the two reversed versions of these here. And then again, we want to um, Go down to this auto track now and go down to the inserts and add a reverb. So I'm going to add the reverence reverb. This is in Cubase 5. If you're using SX3 or something, just the, the normal reverb will be fine. And I'm going to load a, a large reverb. So use this one here. And then make sure that they mix it as 100% so that we're not getting any dry signal through. And then I'll just close that. That's fine. And then we need to actually record this onto another track now. Well, what you can do is actually export this if you want to um, solo it and then export it and bring it back into the session. You can do that or you can set up a bus to actually record um, what's coming out of this channel. So we'll set up a bus. So I'm going to add another audio track. I'm going to make it mono. And then I'm going to add, um, I'm going to add a group channel track, which is a bus effectively. Click OK and then from our audio 2, if we go to the controls on the left, instead of sending it out to Stereo White, we're going to send this to Groups, which is this group track we just created. And then if we go to our new track, which is audio 3, what we want to do is take the audio from that group track. So we go to the input and we'll go to Groups, Group 1. So now all of the audio coming out of 2 will go to this group track and then um, grip our audio track 3 here will read that. So if we bring back our play locator, hit the record button. Man, watch out, the table's turned. Get too close and you'll get burned. There you go, that's that recorded. So we can get rid of that grip track. We can get rid of that reverse track. And then we just want to split this. Catch the tail and then split this part and catch the end as well. Get rid of the parts either side. Just zoom in, make sure we've got that. Okay, so all we need to do now is reverse these. So if we go to highlight across both of them, go to process and reverse, and select new version. So now we've got the reversed versions of each of these. We can just place them into our session um, leading up to the appropriate word. And now there was a couple of words we actually caught here as opposed to just men, we caught men, watch. We got men and watch there. So this whole reverb tale, the first part of it is going to be, um, as you can see here, that's the word men. It almost um, mimics the image. So we've got the word men here and watch there. So we probably want to cut this short. So we could bring that back and put a wee tail. Um, it's just a fade out using this we look here at the top right. So we'll try this. Man, watch out the tables turned. Get too close and you'll get There you go, you get that sort of eerie reversing reverb effect working now. Man, watch out, the table's turned. Get too close and you'll get... So you can do that on any of the words throughout the actual um, loop and you'll get the this, this same effect happening throughout it. 
Okay, so I hope this tech tip helps you out, and I'll see you again in the next tutorial.